friends. Welcome to Lisa Marvin Art. We're in my kitchen. And that's because today we are talking all about alcohol inks. And the reason I'm in my kitchen is because it's a total different vibe than Bloom's, which are downstairs. Also downstairs, um, I don't really have like a space clear for them. And alcohol inks pieces take a lot longer than Bloom's, which take like five minutes. And I find it really relaxing and I can just kind of sit here and think or watch TV or whatever and do my work. But we have a lot to get to. Uh, I've been want, you know, if you watch me, I love the look of like watercolors and inks and flowy, but I never have done it. I've been avoiding probably like a lot of you for a long time because it's really overwhelming to start a new thing. What I would like you to do before we go any further is I am not an alcohol ink expert and I'm not sure I'll ever be an expert, but you know who is an expert? Bree Edge from Cool Breeze Studios. I'd like you to pause, I'll give you a minute, and right in the description, I'm putting her channel. And if you are interested in alcohol inks and you wanna know everything from an expert, click on her page and subscribe. I'll give you a minute to do that. Thank you. Now, the reason I, and at first I wasn't even gonna do a video about alcohol inks, but I feel like I want people, I want to uh, encourage people and inspire people to jump in and do it. <clears throat> if you're interested or to jump in to do anything, cause it could be really overwhelming. So I'm gonna try to go like from a beginner standpoint. <laughs> A beginner standpoint step by step of what you'll need and it's not as overwhelming as you think so let's start with papers again this is from my small knowledge of paper okay because alcohol ink paper is different than anything else um, there are a, a few different kinds but there are two main kinds there's Yupo paper and Nara paper and you may say, what's the difference? Well, <clears throat> this is Yupo paper. Let me just show you what it looks like. I just got this at Michael's. Yupo, okay? And it's very smooth. And the thing I like about alcohol inks is that they're pretty forgiving. If you make a mistake or you don't like something, you can wipe it away. However, what I found with Yupo paper is it does stain more than Nara paper. Okay. I've already painted on this. So this is Nara. Now they're both smooth. This Yupo is thicker, okay? Now I wanna show you the difference. So in this Nara paper, you can see there's no staining whatsoever because I was able to wipe things away. However, this I made with the Yupo paper and I actually did this on purpose because I kind of liked this wispy stuff, but uh, it's not as easy to wipe away is that pretty? This was my, this was on, I did this my second day. I love it. Um, so it depends what you like. I actually, I don't mind the Yupo paper and apparently, um, what a color, the same color will look different in both, I guess, cause of staining and stuff like that. So, but either way, especially for beginner, it t it's totally fine. It doesn't matter. Also on Amazon, which I haven't tried yet. I got, cause I, you know, I, I want to go big, which we're going to do soon. But first I have to figure out what I'm doing. This is Pixis. So apparently it's not bad either. Um, it is smooth, but not as, no, maybe it's a little harder or thicker, but I can't tell you if it's good, but I think Bree said some people like it and it's fine. Okay. Next. Um, cause I'm going to venture into going onto canvas as well, but I just wanted to show you what it looks like on canvas. So this is just a full untreated canvas. Now, obviously it's different than the paper because you can't erase it and it's not as forgiving as paper. So this was just, I literally, I just put like a dot of ink and put alcohol and blew it around. But definitely if you work at like, I love the shading. I just love, you know, what's going on now. This is actually, which I haven't even used yet, I got these Copic 
markers. Um, so I'm gonna play around them with, with them as well, where it's like a marker, but if you spray your alcohol, it, um, you know, does the same thing. Isn't that cool? Now, let's talk about, so I, we just got to the paper part. Let's talk about actual inks. So, first of all, look at my fun box I got. Bloop. So there's many different kinds of inks. The main ones are Ranger inks and Pinata inks. You can get these at um, Flute Art Company and they're getting more. Okay. Um, is there a real difference? I don't know. Not that I've like totally seen. People have certain preferences. I do love, and my favorite thing about alcohol inks is the, um, these like gilded brass and these alloy things because they float on top. Um, this is from Ranger. Okay. Now, let's talk about the things you'll need to spread the ink around. So you see people, they put their ink down and then they spray from a bottle um, their alcohol. And that's what helps it move and then it evaporates. Or you could use some alcohol blending solution as well. They're a bit different. The blending solution is a little more gummy, um, whereas the alcohol is just very thin and it evaporates. You need, um, 99 is good. I think like just the higher the better. So I think it goes like 75 and then there's another one and then 99. I try to get to 99, but I think the 75 will work as well. Number three, safety. Safety is the number one thing because you're using alcohol. A lot of people like even now, like the smell is like, <coughs> um, so you need a mask, uh, for vapors. So there's, two different types of masks. There's particulates for like people who, if you're like sanding or whatever, and then there's vapors. So you want the vapor mask, you want proper gloves. Tools to blow your ink around. This is kind of fun. Um, this is a hand pump for alcohol inks. It does take a bit of getting used to and you don't get as much control, but it all, I also find it's fun if there's like a specific area I want to get to, so I'm having fun with this. Um, I've used this heat gun for crafts, okay? Um, it's just like I got on Amazon heat gun for crafts. Now it was pretty hot, but that's what I used for this. And I had a, it might've been too hot, but I still like what I did, but I couldn't get those lines. A lot of people like, and I don't think I've used this one yet. Maybe I'll use it today. The Con Air um, brush, heat brush, and they just take off the top and it blows without the brush and they use that to move stuff around as well. <sighs> what am I missing? Okay, I think we're doing pretty well. Something I wanna do today, which I haven't done yet, is make piggies into alcohol inks. And you can do that by because you need, you can't just add it to plain alcohol because it needs a binder. Just like kind of if you're doing fluid art, pigments have no binder, so you want to bind it together. So you can use this alcohol blending solution. And then there's another kind to Claro something. I don't remember what it's called, um, but we're going to give this a try. And if we need to, we'll like dilute it with a bit of isopropyl alcohol. Another thing you might find handy actually for your alcohol is these little squeeze bottles um because you use a lot of alcohol so they can be kind of, i got i don't know if i'm gonna like this i got this like plain squeeze bottle but then i got these little like needle tips if i want it more precise it might be fun so that's what we're gonna do today oh okay so let's talk about what's hard about alcohol inks and why i'm doing this video so not only am i doing this video to inspire you to start something new but i feel one of the positive things about alcoholing is that you can take your time to build composition, but building composition I find is the hardest thing to do because you're kind of building as you're going. You can have one idea of what you want to do, but it doesn't always work that way. For me, 
I don't, I personally don't love when a page is full of color and full of everything and there's nowhere for your eye to move. So for me, composition and a place for the eye to rest is very important. So I will rarely cover a whole page with something. So I'll either do like what I did. Sorry, my phone died. I'll either do what I did here, which is, you know, have it full here or, you know, this, which has negative space. I really believe negative space is important, but again, it's harder to do um, with alcohol inks. So I'm gonna just use this paper today, hopefully. I'm gonna be doing a voiceover because I'll be wearing a mask. Um, why don't I, uh, I guess I can mix this without a mask. We're gonna try, I've never done it before, so I'm not sure even what I'm doing, but then I'm gonna add it to this and I'm worried that it will like gum up. Um, I could put something in here, so like when I shake it, it breaks up. Uh, I don't know. All right, let's mix up a piggy. Oh, actually I actually have two. So I have mermaid um, and I have velvet, because I think we're gonna go um, blues today at least. And I'm gonna really keep it super simple. Um, so yeah, let's get to mixing. Okay, so let's mix up some mermaid. Is this lighting? Oh, it's so dark. Oh, isn't it? Um, yeah. So what am I doing? We don't know. I guess I'll like mix it up like I would um, my pouring medium. Like I'll do a little bit more. I feel like actually you probably need less because it's just pure uh, pigment. Like you're not adding any paint to it. Okay, let's see what happens. I don't know. So I'm opening up my alcohol blending. Oh, so pretty. Okay, oh my God, like love. Of course you guys can't see. Love, okay. I mean, yeah, that was seemed pretty simple to me, right? Um, it's like pretty fluid, is it too fluid? All right, let's give it a go. So I'm going to pour it in here, hope for the best. Again, we don't know what's happening, uh, but yeah, it's not as like gummy as I thought. Maybe I put too much, I don't know. Let's give it a test. Um, Sure, I'll just put this little guy on. So this is, will just be for like funsies. Um, yeah, yeah, thank you. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So let's talk about um, how you actually move your paint around. This was a good one. I love it though, hold on, just to show you what's happening. Oh, I hope you guys can see the sparklies. Um, really pretty. So, so far, there's um, two ways you can do it. You can flood your paper first with where you want the shape to be, and then put your ink and blow it there so the ink has somewhere to go. Or you can put your ink first and then your alcohol um, to guide it. So let's do both ways. You know what? I should put on my mask now. I guess we're just going for it. So <clears throat> I'll start my voiceover now. So you don't have, to, well, I guess whatever, we'll see. Uh, why don't we start with Laguna, okay? So let's start with putting it here, all right? And now I wanna go like this. I'm just surrounding it, giving it somewhere to go. So I can only blow as far as the alcohol goes. So you wanna make sure that if you're trying to get here, you're gonna need more alcohol. 
So let's say I want to go here. I'm going to put some there. There we go. So then I can make it go further. If I really want to wash it out and I want it to go here. So you're really guiding your alcohol to where you want it to go. In this way, you're not going to have like those lines that people like to get with, that they get with their um, heat gun. But I just wanted to show you how you can get your ink to travel. Okay, just for fun, I wanna show you what happened. You wanna put this over your color. You wanna make sure it has somewhere to go because it stinks. What I would do here when this is wet because if, if it doesn't have anywhere to go, I'll give you an example, it's harder for it to move. Okay? But let's say I put a little dot. Okay? And I'll put a dot, oops, I'll put a dot of that. You can control it better. So it's a lot of working. So now I want it to go this way. And the good thing about this is if you do something you don't like, you can wipe it away with a paper towel. So let's see what happens when I put alcohol ink. This is ugly, I know. I'm just showing you certain things. Let's see what happens when I put uh, alcohol down first. If you want a big coverage, then you put it down first and you could like blow it around everywhere. I'm just using whatever colors I have here. I don't know what they are. Okay. So that's very good for full coverage. Now look, I'm trying to blow it and it's not really going, right? So I'm gonna put more here and keep it going. A lot more here. Keep it going. Now you want to make sure you don't put too much because you want it to start drying so you can layer. So you see, but I love how these different depths go. So basically, it depends if you want like a more controlled step-by-step -step or if you want full coverage. Now we're just having fun. So, also I want to show you, the alcohol also repels. So you don't want to just do one drop. This is what, look what happens. So it starts to repel everything around it. So you want to be very careful. And guess what? The blending solution does that as well. So you could use it to your advantage, but you start to get those rings. So hold on. I'm opening this up again. There. And you can start to see that circle happen. So. I like using uh, either one for different things. Oh, let me get a paper towel. Hold on. So let's say I want this to go away. Right here. I'm going to take a bit of alcohol. See how it repels it right away? And you can wipe it off. The problem is, is again, it repels it in those shapes in the circle, so you wanna keep working it back. So you see how I, I got it away, but it stays a little bit, but it's pretty good. And you wanna keep doing this back and forth to get your layers. Now I'm gonna plug in my heat gun so you can see that, but I just wanted to show you the different, um, a few of the different techniques with the hand pump. This mermaid looks really pretty. 
Uh, I'm also going to mix, by the way, um, Velvet, which is a blue interference. I'm going to mix it the same way. Okay, so that was my little practice piece. Uh, hopefully it was good. Now let's get to the real piece. Okay, I'm gonna try to keep it simple. I'm using NARA paper today. I think it's easier for beginners, especially if we're gonna be like wiping a bunch off. Um, I just cut this piece because I only had big pieces. So it's, I don't know, maybe it's like five by seven, not sure. Uh, Color-wise, again, I'm gonna try to keep it simple um, at first. Now I really wish I had a lighter color, but this is like the lightest. This is butterscotch, okay? Um, Vineyard, these are rangers. Mermaid, really loving this color. Monsoon, probably my favorite. And then we're gonna go with pinata brass. Now make sure you super shake this because the metallics are heavy, they tend to settle at the bottom. And then I have my TLP um, mermaid and ve <laughs> velvet. So, um, I really want to keep it light, meaning um, I'm not going to put that much ink and we want to kind of layer to see how it goes. So why don't I start? Let me put on my mask. I'll start with, um, and I'm sorry, I'll talk through my mask if it's not too annoying. Um, I'll start with the alcohol ink first and then I'll start with Mm, monsoon to see what happens. All right, we'll start in the corner. I'm just putting it there. And I think I'll use my hand blower for now. Let's see what happens. And then I'll kind of bring in with the uh, heat gun, which is not plugged in. Hold on. What? Why is it working? Hold on. There we go. <laughs> Sometimes it goes rogue. My thing is a little strong, but I'm not worried because, as I said, we're just gonna, I can even go like this, put some alcohol on here and wipe away what I don't like. Okay, now again, it doesn't matter yet because we don't know like what we're looking at. I just love these like big lines and shading. Uh, but again, it becomes a problem if you don't have an idea in mind. So why don't I start now with a bit of the purple and I'll go to teal and then I'll add some gold on top. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'll put my, and I'm going to work kind of quick because it's going to start pushing uh, everything. faded area here. Remember I'm keeping it light. 
Uh, and I will try to fix like those areas that are a little, uh, you know, wonkalish. There. I really want to keep it flowing and not put too much, too many different um, alcohol pieces on top. Like I really like this look. So to go along with these lines, I'm going to try again. I'm going to take my monsoon and try to keep it here. Uh, and maybe I'll put a little um, mer uh, mermaid or velvet on top. So let's do that. But I'm, I'm loving this look. And I want to keep it super simple, which is really hard. Uh, I think so I don't have to rush. I'm going to put my monsoon down first. Okay, go like this. Okay, start blowing. I'm going to turn down And I feel I'm liking the color. Okay. So it's really simple and I want again to keep it that way. So now I'm starting to look at composition. So let me flip it around so you can see what I'm looking see what I'm looking at. So is that pretty with the gold? Um the eye is moving this way, which is nice. There's a place for your eye to rest. I am going to clean that up a little bit. Um is it a masterpiece? No, but we're looking for really beautiful areas. I love this area right here. It's super simple and flowy. Um, I love these areas here. I don't, part of the problem is you have to know when to stop so you don't overwork it. So I don't know if I'm stopping yet. I have a hard time stopping, um, but I want, like I said, I want to make it so you guys, if it's your first time, oops, um, you just can do something really easy and um, not overwhelming. So, is this it? I don't know. Let's see. I think the only thing that bothers me, maybe, I think my eye goes here, but, I, and I can fix that, but like... I might just leave it like this. I love the different um, shadings of the color. I'm going to do some monsoon here. Now, normally I would want the mermaid and velvet to show more, but I don't want to ruin it too much because the velvet over the purple would look really nice. But in doing that, it would like ruin these beautiful lines that I have here already, so I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna do it in my next video, just so you know. Um, so let me go like this, and it needs a little alcohol to spread. Oh, does it? I don't know. No, oh, just like that. I didn't even need alcohol. Okay, guys. Mm, maybe this little corner here. Uh, just a little. Like I'm gonna go off. Yeah, there we go. Um, yeah, I think, honestly, I know that only took a few minutes, but I really, um, don't want to overwork it. And I think it's just really simple and cute and really something. I, how many minutes was that? That was 10 minutes. 
really something that you guys, if you're a beginner, can do uh, in 10 minutes and feel pretty confident about yourself. So let me know, did you like, I think it's pretty. Did you like this? Uh, do you want more alcohol? <laughs> okay. Do you want more alcohol ink sneakers, Doug? Uh, don't forget to go over to Bree's page and follow her. I'm going to do a close-up of this. Please let me know what you think. And uh, I love you guys. Bye.